What is going on you guys and welcome back or to the channel. Now, if this is your first time stopping in, I'm currently in the process of rebuilding my 2007 Duramax. And as you can see, we are doing a full frame off build. And if you missed the last video, we just got all the parts back from powder. So we're finally at the stages where we can start reassembling. But first things first, let's get this frame unwrapped. All right guys, so now that we got the frame all unwrapped, it's time to start throwing some parts on her. The rebuild's gonna kind of be a little bit sporadic just because I'm gonna try and just throw on what I can at the moment because obviously we're gonna have to rebuild the rear and front diffs, so I can't put those in yet, but maybe we'll get to assembling some of the leaf springs and a little bit of the front suspension, but we'll just see how things go. I think what I'm actually gonna start with first though is gonna be the fuel tank. Uh, I already took the time to go in, clean it inside, wipe it all down. So it's all ready to go. Got new fuel straps here as well. So I think that's what we'll start with. And then we'll just kind of pick random stuff to start throwing on. All right, well, there we go. We got the fuel tank in, heat shield on, straps on. Also got the fuel cooler all assembled and buttoned up. And man, I just cannot believe it. that looks absolutely unreal. So now that that's all done, we can start grabbing some parts off the floor and start throwing the front together. Okay, boys, now we're starting to make some moves. We got a lot of the pieces up front here put together, got the steering box in, got the front differential brace in, we got the engine mounts, we got the front stabilizer shock, we got the drop brackets, we got both cross members, and we're kind of at a point now where we need to just wait until we have the front differential before we can start adding up any other parts. So I actually just got back, as you can see, the bin is missing over there from dropping off the front diff over at a shop just down the road. So they're gonna actually rebuild the diff for me. So I should have it back um, in a few days here. And then we can start throwing that in. In the meantime, what I'm gonna do is just clean up the floor here because I actually do need to bring the car inside. And I will just check back in with you guys in a couple days once I get the front diff back. All right guys, a week later and we are officially back. I just got home from picking up the front diff and man, you guys gotta see this thing because it looks absolutely unreal. Check this out. Look at how clean that thing looks. It looks so good. I cannot believe how good it turned out. The guys did such a great job. They even got that drop bracket installed on there for me. So everything is ready to go for installation minus the carrier bushing right here. And so that's kind of a little bit of bad news is I went through, I bought the poly bushings from Energy Suspension 
And when I was looking through here, it says that you need to keep the factory sleeve. And unfortunately, like, cause it doesn't come with it, right? So I have the bushings right here, that's the set. However, when I took that bushing out, I didn't keep the, the metal sleeve or any of that, I just threw it out. So that's a little bit on my bad. I already ordered a new one, so that should be in within a week. But in the meantime, because I can't do anything with that, I figured we may as well get started on getting some of this stuff assembled. So I got the upper control arms, got the bushings, ball joints and everything. Also got the tie rods and all the ends here. So we're gonna throw this thing together really quick and uh, yeah, just keep the build going. All right guys, so there we go. We got the upper control arms fully assembled. We got the plaques back on, and man, they look absolutely unreal. Uh, we also got the tie rods all spun back together. Obviously I haven't set the lengths because we don't know where they're at right now. Uh, I also went ahead and assembled these shock reservoir mounts. I haven't really told you guys about this suspension setup yet, but essentially this is gonna go on top here and then the reservoir for the shock that we're getting is gonna be going right through here. So it's gonna be a nice clean setup on there, but we'll just have to wait until we're at that stage before we can get those on. But man, this setup is looking so good. But I think that's gonna be a wrap on this video anyways. I wish I could have packed a little bit more into this video for you guys, but with me missing the carrier bushing on that and still waiting for a couple other parts to come in. There's just nothing that I can do at this moment, but I am actually leaving in the morning early, early, early for Vegas and I will be attending the SEMA show all week. So if you guys are there, hit me up. I'd love to link up with one of you guys. Also, if you guys have a booth, I'd love to swing by and show some support. This is obviously not SEMA ready this year, but hopefully next year I will be able to have this showcase there and have you guys see it all in person. But in the meantime, thank you guys for watching and I'll get you in the next one.